Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Maribel and I'm a personal trainer as well as a nutritionist. For today's workout, I'm gonna do a full body workout. This is great for anybody who's trying to work on strength and power. Now I'm gonna go ahead and change. Go ahead and get ready and I'll see you in a few minutes. Make sure that you have your water bottle and that you do your warm up. Remember, this is just a guy. You do have to warm up. I would advise six different exercises. I would say do it for 20 to 30 seconds each. And yeah, I'll see you. I'll be right back. I also wanted to mention, don't go anywhere after the workout. We are gonna be doing a healthy, quick sandwich that you could take with you to work, to school, anywhere, or even eat it for breakfast or even dinner, because I have. Don't go anywhere after the workout. I'm gonna be showing you my favorite go-to sandwich. So I, I took off my shirt because I was super hot. I was doing a TikTok. So now let's get right into this workout. We have weights at home. That's totally okay. Grab anything that's heavy from boxes. I know you order from Amazon to a point that they're just stacking up in front of the door. I'm not talking to myself. It's not me. <laughs> boxes, anything that you have available, you're gonna be okay. Everybody can do this workout. I'm gonna put the reps and set right up here in the name of the movement. So you can write this down with you and take it to your gym or even do it at home. Let's get right into it. The first exercise is a hack squat. I didn't have the footage. Fortunately, my camera keeps dying, but I did film this a while ago. So here you go. Same thing, hack squat. I am adding weight. If you feel like you are not ready to add weight, that's totally fine. Just do your hack squat. Right after that, I want you to do some push-up. I am showing you beginner. If you could do a regular push-up, do not hesitate. And then you do gonna do some fire hydrant. Challenge yourself a little more, add a resistant band. Donkeys, if you notice, this workout is for power and strength, which means I want you to challenge yourself. Try to add some weight into this movement. And if you don't have that available, try to increase your rep and even an extra set i totally understand that everybody is different so this can vary i'm gonna give you a general structure power of focus i want you to focus on explosiveness i want you to do your rep three to five per set your sets should be three to five sets per exercise and resting two to four minutes between sets if your focus is strength focus maximum load i want you to focus on four to six per set you can go as low as one to three reps for a very heavy lift i want you to do three to five sets per exercise you should be resting five minutes between sets and follow me on tiktok and go see how i do a maximum load i have a mess on my active wear clothes i just can't keep track so it is what it is let's fast forward to right after my workout so i just finished working out i took a shower i put lotion i didn't put anything on my face because i don't put anything after my workout what i focus is on making sure that my face is clean because when you're sweating Poor. So I choose not to put anything on my face until two to three o'clock. Then I'll put some sunscreen. I also got me a ignore mango at this point. I also got me a what, what did I get me? A sunscreen foundation, which is new to me. So it just makes me look more malinda. I'm gonna go ahead and do my protein shake. Don't forget, I am gonna be showing you. I might be showing you my breakfast and my lunch and my dinner. I don't know. I have a game soon. I have so much things to do today, but I am gonna try my best to put in what I eat in a day. I'm not gonna promise you, but I'm gonna try. Okay, so. A lot of supplements here. Let me just come up here. Yep, okay. So there's a lot of supplements. I took Alani you as a pro, pro workout, a pre-workout today. Um, my favorite all time. So I am going to choose. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna do Alani U, and I'm gonna do the Alani U Frosted Flurry. One thing about me is when I'm gonna eat something that is quote unquote not healthy, instead of getting me the healthy version, I just eat it. I just eat what I want. Do so you see? I get a scoop. Put it in here, close it back up. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add some water. All right, 
So I'm gonna go ahead and do the dishes from this morning, drink my protein shake. I'm going to, I have some couple things to do and I have to do it before 12. Then after I'm done doing my errands at 12, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what, I am, what I'm gonna eat today because every day is different. Sometimes it's mostly similar, but today's gonna be different. I do wanna do peppers, onions, and I'm craving a burger. So I'm just going to do the patty. I'm gonna do it at home. I'm gonna do the patty, and then I'm gonna go ahead and just add some peppers and some onions for breakfast and then for lunch my plan is to eat the sandwich but if i don't make the sandwich right now i'll make it for dinner but i'm gonna for sure try to eat either the sandwich or i'm gonna make a big salad because i'm craving salad i think it's because i saw somebody else eating the salad and now i'm like wow that looks so good so i'm thinking about it i did eat Chipotle yesterday was so good. I had chicken, fajitas, black beans. Um, I skipped on the rice because I was planning to eat a high carb dinner that day. But I also added to the bowl pico de gallo, guac, and I think it was the lettuce with the salad sauce that is like an extra dollar or two. It was so good. For lunch, I had rice and beans with vegetables and then for dinner I had a huge pasta bowl so I already like every morning I plan my day and what I'm gonna eat like that I could work on my macros and see where do I need it the most and where can I kind of be like okay I'm gonna skip the carb or skip that for this meal but I'm gonna go ahead and add it on the other